The champion balloon buster of World War I, Belgium's best fighter ace, and his name is, is Willy Umar Francois Jean Baron Coppins de Holtzler. So, Willy Omar Francois Jean Baron Coppins de Holtzler was born on the 6th of July 1892 and he was the Belgium's leading ace and fighter pilot for Belgium and the world champion balloon buster of World War One. So Coppin was born in Watt Mill, Britsfort, son to Omar Coppin, a Belgian impersonatric or painter and he studied at the Royal Academy of Ghent. He was conscripted into the army in 1912 to serve with the Premier de Regiment Grenadiers. In 1914, following the German invasion of Belgium, Coppin transferred to the Motor Machine Gun Corps. On the 6th of September 1915, he signed up for the flight training at Champagne de Aviation. Ultimately, due to insufficiencies in Belgium's training, he took an eight week leave to train to fly. He and 39 other Belgians learned to fly at their own expense in Britain. He received his pilot certificate on the 9th of December 1915. After this training in Britain, he further his training at the Farman School in Etampes, France, and joined the 6th Regimente Escadrille as a Sergeant First Class. On April the 8th, 1917, flying the BE 2C two seater, later in the month he was assigned to the Kwame Escadrille to fly a Farman pusher. On May the 1st, he actually received his first Softwift one and a half shutter, a two seater, and promptly flew it into his first area combat. Okay, in mid July, he transferred to the single seater fighter unit, the Wanea Escadrille de Cachy or the 1st Pursuit Squadron, he received his last remaining Newport 17 of the squadron. Everyone else was upgraded to a Newport 17 when the Harant HD-1S was offered to the squadron. He was the only pilot to initially accept this one. His enthusiasm for the aircraft type prompted the other pilots to also move over to the Han Royals. On the 19th of August, Coppin was promoted to a jeton. He continued his nervy but very unsuccessful combat career against the enemy aircraft until, until the 17th of March 1918. That day he carried out one of his first attacks on a German auxiliary balloon. As an aid to the ground assault by the Belgian army, though handicapped by the lack of incendiary ammunition, he punctured two balloons causing the observers to bail out and the balloons to collapse to the ground. Finally, on the 25th of April, Coppin scored his first victory down in a Ruppel two-seater. On the 8th of May, he finally found his mature, which he shot down two balloons down to flames. A week later, using his unusual tactics to close range fire, Coppin cut down a balloon loose to its ties. It bounced up beneath him and momentarily carried his Harnot skywards. After his aircraft fell into the balloon, he restarted its engine and flew back to base. The balloon stagged into an explosion. Later on another attack run, he got shot from a balloon. He parked his plane on top of the damaged balloon, shut down his engine in order to protect his propeller and waited until the balloon descended to slide off the balloon and fly away. From then on, Coppin's record was spectacular. Between April and October 1918, he was credited with destroying 34 German auxiliary balloons and three airplanes. Nearly as many victories as Belgium's other five aces combined. Unlike most fighter pilots of World War I, he knew the 303 caliber or the 9 or the 7.92 mm guns, which knew a large bore 11 mm machine gun, having upgraded his weaponry prior to June 1918. In June 1918, he was promoted to Soir Lieutenant, thus becoming an officer. His royal blue plane, with its insignia of the Tris Spring wearing a top hat, became so well known that the Germans went to special pains to try and kill him. On, on August the 3rd, he actually shot down a balloon, booby trapped with explosives that, when detonated from the ground, he narrowly missed them though. The flaming wreckage of the balloon fell swift as the doom as doom on the watching Germans, mostly staff officers and other infantry, almost killing most of them and injuring the rest. On his last mission on October the 14th, copping down a balloon over Potsbos, and he was attacking one over Torhort, 
when he was severely wounded by an incendiary bullet smashing into the Tiber and his left leg and severing his arteries as well. Copping crash landed in dim smoke and was taken to the hospital where his leg was actually amputated. Copping achieved all his victories while flying a Haran HD-1 fighter. After the war, his wartime service was he was knighted, becoming Willy Omar Francois Jean Coppins de Holtz for a forest. For a forest in his squadron's operating area. He was decorated by Belgium, France, Britain, Portugal, Italy, Poland and Serbia. His memoir Days of the Wing was published in 1931 and he and it was reissued in 1970 and between the two world wars Copping was Belgium's air attaché to four nations in September 1928 despite his disabilities he set a new parachute record by leaping from 19,700 feet this record stood for four years he retired to Switzerland in 1940 organizing resistance work and marrying in the late 60s he returned to Belgium and lived his last five years with a fellow Belgian ace, Jeanne Orlies Lager, Lager's only daughter, until his death in 1986. Quick note, he was the friend of Georges Giamere, especially before the day he disappeared, and he actually had 36 confirmed victories, most of them balloons, famous balloon buster as well. So that is the life story of Willy Coppin or Willy Omar Francois Jean Baron Coppins de Hotzler and that is the story of the balloon buster <laughs>